So today's question comes from Bill W. It's not that Bill W., but someone who emailed me and asked to remain anonymous. His question is basically, how do I get the spark back? He writes, can I possibly become re-physically attracted to my spouse? I found myself recovering from codependency and as a result of this process, one of the side effects is that physical attraction to my spouse is gone. If I want my relationship to truly recover, then physical intimacy must return. So how do I do that? First of all, my hat's off to you for being part of some kind of a growth process. And to be honest, I can't tell you what direction you're going to grow in next. It might be that, that you and your partner grow together. And this is a new adventure. This is the beginning of a new journey. And it might be that you've reached a level where the two of you need to grow in different directions. So hopefully my answer to this question isn't the end of anything, but rather is the beginning of a new journey for you where you start to really work on this and follow that growth desire to whatever ends it leads to. It might be that you need to talk to some more people about this. It might be that you need to do some further thinking and some further research and some further work. In fact, I know for sure you're going to need some further work on it. But one way or another, it's beautiful that you're doing some growth work and you're finding out something that we all find out when you start to grow. And that is, well, things change. And something amazing happens, and I've talked about this before, something amazing happens when you get some new ideas and you mix them with some old conceptions about what's what. There's this chemical reaction that can take place inside of you and basically what it amounts to is life asking you if you mean it. You're saying, okay, I'm done with my old way of looking at things. I'm done with codependency in your case, but it could be anything. I'm done with this old thing. And life says, okay, do you mean it? Because here's this opportunity to be open and honest, not just with yourself, but with the world around you. And so what are you going to do about it? Life is asking you if you mean it. You have said, I want to grow. I want to be healthier. And that's great to grow and want to be healthier within yourself, but that's going to affect how you relate to other people. And one of the things to remember is when you look at other people, it might be that what you're seeing is not really what they have to offer. Even if it's somebody you know very well, someone who you love, you might not be seeing what they represent, but rather what you think of them. And when you see someone who was with you in times that were tough, Sometimes when you look at them, you see the tough times. You see the old way that you used to look at things. But remember, you're not really seeing them. You're seeing you. And so part of the trick is to get really honest. Like I said before, you have gotten good. You've gotten to a level of being honest about who you are and what you need and what's important to you and that sort of thing. Now take that same new kind of focus and look at that other person and say, you know what? I'm not looking at the outer appearance. I'm not looking at the emotional baggage. When I see you, I'm not seeing the way that we were or the way that I was when I was with you. Rather, I'm interested in a brand new me and so I'm also interested in a brand new you. And most importantly, I'm interested in a brand new us. So many times people come to me for a marriage counseling, relationship counseling, and they say, you know, we got married and then we felt like we were done. We could stop trying and stop dating and we just sort of hit the brakes. And now how come there's no spark? Now, I'm not saying that's what you're doing, but I am saying it's very common. And the answer that I give to those people that come with those kind of questions is never stop trying because nothing ever stops. Remember how important it was when you were dating that person to be honest, to show them new things, to be on the lookout for new things about them? Get back into that dating mindset because you're not the same you and they are not the same them. No matter what it is, whether it's a relationship or a job or any kind of a growth opportunity, the trick is to remember to try to see things for what they are rather than for what you are. That's the secret to unlocking what it is that they have to teach you. Your partner, your spouse is in your life for a reason. They're to teach you about love in some new important way. And like I said, maybe this means you have an opportunity to learn a new kind of honesty, a new kind of interaction. Maybe you're supposed to grow together. Maybe you're not. But one way or the other, the important thing is that you're there to grow. So put the full focus, the full laser beam intensity of your honesty, your love, your truth, your you. Put it into this relationship. And then and only then can you know for sure what you need to do next. But I can guarantee you there's something exciting about that person that you don't even know about yet. Just like there's something exciting about you that you are only just discovering.
The key to all of this stuff is in being who you really are. Thanks for bringing that honesty to me. Thanks for bringing it in the form of these amazing questions. Thank you for sharing the questions and subscribing. And I want to say also thank you to everyone who's gone to my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Dieter Randolph, and click that like button. It means a lot. Take care of yourself.